What's up, MK Squad? Welcome back to another Legendary Top of the Movie Reaction video. If you're new to the channel, come join the family. Hit that subscribe button. Turn your post notifications on. If you're already part of the family, man, we truly appreciate you and thank you. Every single one of you is a blessing and you are amazing. If you haven't told yourself or you haven't heard from anybody, well, you heard it from your boy. And also, comment down below any Legendary Top of the Movie Reaction videos, pranks, and blogs you guys want to see. Get this video a Big thumbs up. It helps crush that YouTube algorithm. And it's totally free. You feel what I'm saying? So we got Topher. Let's go Brandon. Feet at dot. Wait, D dot core. <laughs> and the at. And at the Marine Rapper, I should say. The Marine Rapper got some legendary bars. Topher got some inspirational bars. And um, I'm just excited, family. And we on the road to 6K, so make sure you sub it up. Tell your mothers, your daddies, your brothers, your sisters, sister mothers. I don't know, but, man, it's such a blessing. I didn't expect to get this far. We didn't expect to get this far. Um, I should say we, because, you know, y'all family, you know, MK Squad and all that. And um, it's just such a blessing, man. I never would have thought I would even be getting this far or be able to keep going. You know what I'm saying? And this is just... I'm going to speak it to a just We're going to try to get to 10K and then 20K and just keep going, family. But you can't do it without you. You guys are a blessing. And it's not even just saying it just because of my benefit. But every single one of you is a blessing to the world. So I'm not going to do no more talking. Let's get straight into the video. Let's go. Brandon, Brandon, Brandon. Pick the wrong race, bud. But don't worry. You're giving everybody the smoke today. Tell him. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Brandon. Hey. 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 NASCAR got him chanting. Hey. Let's go, Brandon. Some don't understand it. Who really commanded? Left the bull abandoned. How dare he do it, Dannon? He didn't want us to breathe. The strangle of his granite. Someone give assisted. Live in a car. Get your man back. Hey. He don't know it's real at all. Oh, what about Amtrak? They don't care about this virus. Really, flats are jam packed. Everybody gotta go and get a vaccine. When I'm asking, you better have a stamp. Prices rising by the minute. Tell me you won't buy it in it. Mass work crowd, I don't go get it. I am not complying with it. Got that drive, don't try it. Or in it when I exercise and try to limit my DVR. Everybody wanna die. My reply, let's go to your bar. Let's go. 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 Hey, I like that. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, go. Ay, ay, like ay. If you think that you'll ever earn heart, you were senior touching juniors. Can't you let her finish school first? You like them 11, call 12, and I hope the 13 hunt you. And my smoke, you do not want it. All my lines are dope like Hunter. Rocky, I'm Apollo Creed's only legacy of the rap scene. It's the Marine artillery, shot more arms than a vaccine. Wow. Ain't doing nothing for the human races. You just ruin things, and you the biggest racist. You the biggest liar, but you ain't on fire like you. I love the simple fact that this haven't been, this haven't been nothing new, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times you got to believe in God and you also can be conformed to this world, but believe in God and trust in his word, which is never changing to renew the mind. See, a lot of this division and this divisiveness, it been going on. It's nothing new. It been here. It's just in a new time and generation. It's having this innovation to take over only if we let it. And I, and I love how people speaking up on that. You know what I'm saying? Because this division, I mean, this division and divisiveness that's going on to cause a division is just getting out of it's getting insane, man. We gotta come together. We gotta love. We gotta speak the truth, walk in the truth, and hold each other accountable. And that's not putting ourselves down or putting others down to be failures, but just saying, look, this was wrong here. You know what I'm saying? And no matter if they like it or not, it's called tough love, brother or sister. You know what I'm saying? When you have a passion for something, what comes with it? That that burn that love and that anger, right? You know what I'm saying? But it's about the intent and the heart and the mind of what's behind that desire and that passion. See, our desires can be greed. But we can let the greed control us and not control it. You feel what I'm saying, family? Our desires could be fear. 
where we're driven by our fears, where we can't take a leap of faith or see the bigger picture to see beyond to think clear. You know what I'm saying? So it's behind those fears. It's, I mean, it's behind those desires, I should say, and passion that makes that love and that tough love. You know what I'm saying? That anger. Now, if you have an intent to do bad, then those passions and desires will be bad. But it's, it's, it's nothing wrong. It says it in a good book. Consult your brother one on one. And proclaim fault. Fought your brother, proclaim the fault of your brother one on one. No one else. As a man, they should have a one on one discussion, woman to woman, whatever. You should be able to consult that person, confront that person, have a discussion, and let it go. You know what I'm saying? And this, the divisiveness comes with us having that discussion, and then it get flipped in a way to be used in a way that's not intended, which is in a bad way. Because if it's not in the way intended, the the attention should be good. The intent. Should be pure. It should be good for all of us. You know, so I'm loved that they speaking up about it and letting it be known. Like, you should go to school. You need to learn. Them 13 souls on your back. You know what I'm saying? You lost 13. You know what I'm saying? Soldiers. That stood up. Soldiers, man. Full on commitment. And, and, and straight up. Tough. So, you know what I'm saying? It take a lot of. It takes a lot to be a soldier. To serve. And the simple fact of serving. You can look at these 13 people as martyrs, in a sense, because it's somebody, it took a lot of guts in the heart. Ain't nobody going to go out there and get themselves on a the line like that. You know what I'm saying? But when you just ignorantly, you see, you can be ignorant of faith and you can be ignorant of your action and not have self-awareness. You know what I'm saying? Or you can have self-awareness, but you let self-awareness control you in the sense of you're letting it drive the narrative without you, without you controlling the narrative of what you do, what you say and how you do it. So it's a lot of things they're talking about in this song that I love. And when you unravel it like a gift, you know, because Christmas is coming up, you know, like a, when you unravel it like a gift, I should say metaphorically, you'll see the true message within. Forget all the beats and the hypeness. Yeah, it's cool. You know, it gets you turn, it gets you lit. I ain't gonna lie. But this this song is speaking a lot that need to be told. Real for all the Talladega. Let's go. Let's go. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go, 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 let us go let us go no current plan for the current event on this way. Mm. We can build back better, more like build back broke. Mmm, build back broke. See, a lot of times we could prepare for the storm before the storm come. Storm come. That's why, like he said, you know, what I'm saying you talking about you know making America better, but then at the end of the day, when the situation approach, you're not prepared. See, a lot of times when we're see when we overcome one storm. We're just preparing to go through another because that can that builds our character, that builds our story. And without struggle, you won't have a story because adversity comes with anybody's story. And that creates the beautiful testimony to being who you are, aligned with the purpose and which is in store for you, of you individually being uniquely of whom you are. Anyone I'm speaking right now, you're you are unique in your own way, aligned with your story and your purpose. But my thing is you have the self control in the sense of changing your mindset change your mindset change your life so when you get out of another storm yes the goodness come along the blessings come along but you at the end of the day should keep your composure and remain humble because there's always going to be another storm again it doesn't last forever but you just have your mindset and your faith and your and your composure right and your posture right like you can't you can't run a track meet slumped over you just, you're you going to ache your body. You're going to fall straight up. You're going to run. As soon as you run and then hit that gun, go. As soon as you start running, you're going to dive yourself right into the ground. But if you keep your composure up, you know what I'm saying? Then you'll be in good shape. Because at the end of the day, it's about the mind, body, and soul and spirit. And you being aligned with God first. 
and add into the goodness of your faith to add to the goodness of your posture and composure, keeping your head up. Not be arrogant, not be cocky, none of that. Being humble and, and, and faith. Gas prices so high to make a dope fiend choke. As uh. a veteran, I try to respect the commander in chief. But if I'm honest, let's go. Brandon brings amazing relief. Uh. Uh. Let's go, 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 um, good wisdom, that's all my intent is, is spread that pure love, peace, and positivity, and spread information because information equal power, and your mind is the, your mind is more viable than anything, not than God, but anything other than that, anything worldly, because your mind means everything, you know what I'm saying, once you have a good state of mind, everything else falls in line, you know what I'm saying, as I'm reading this book called Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and I always, you know, like to relate messages in regards to what I'm reading or a different and sharing the information. Um, it says for a broke a, a rich person, they already think as if they're rich. They think as broke as temporary, and they think as they think as broke as temporary, and they think as poor as internal. So just see how powerful that is, family. The simple fact is, it's all about your mind. You know, using your wisdom. And also making wise decisions. You know what I'm saying? You got two paths in life. But at the end of the day, you got to look at it from a standpoint of longevity, of purity, of genuineness, of love and kindness in the common good. You got to adjust your moral compass for the to do the righteous thing. You get what I'm saying, family? So with that being said, your mind will have, your mind, it means everything because you'll have advantage of, when you say, for example, a rich person have, for example, have money. Instead of the money controlling them, they controlling it. They're not letting the money have power over them. They're controlling it. So the simple fact is having that self-control in your mind, letting you know that if you know, the, if my mind know the power of money, money won't overpower me. So our mind as humans is the biggest blessing from God as a defense mechanism, but it's how we use it, utilize it. We should cast down our imagination to the higher power, not think of is this right, is this true, is that true? Because at the end of the day, we're gonna drive ourselves crazy and we're gonna be in a dreadful life, walking on fear, where the fear end up turning into the truth, and we make that fear truthful due to walking in fear so much, considing in that dread, dreadful, exhausting life. Of a mentality that's so divided and paralyzed. So at the end of the day, family, I love you guys. I appreciate every single one of you. At the end of the, end of the day, I just want to say change your mindset, change your life, and stay beautiful, stay amazing, stay unique. Whatever you're going through, I'm always in prayer. I'll just say a prayer right now for all my brothers and sisters watching this. My God, I just pray that you watch over them, protect them as a fence, guide them within the Holy Spirit. Um, I pray that they listen to you and be still to listen to you. And um, open their mindsets, rejuvenate their mind, renew their mind, body, soul, and spirit. And I pray that you fill them up with the Holy Spirit and whatever they're going through, through good or bad seasons. And I pray that they overcome and praise you in victory of it through the breakthrough. So, amen, family. And um, I pray also, God, that you annihilate the haters. And my brother and sister's life watching this, my life, my family life, you know, keep us away from the hate and bad energy and protect the peace. And for us to resist the temptation and enemies. Amen. So in the day, if y'all if y'all got this far in the video, comment down below. Amen. You know what I'm saying? For the true ones out there. I love you guys. On that note, I'm going to say peace.